I'm Bill Stevenson, and I play in The Descendants, and also in the band All, and also the band Only Crime. And when I was a youngin, I played in the band Black Flag. And I guess that about covers it. Ah, okay, The Blasting Room. Yeah, 22 years ago, we built a studio called The Blasting Room, and we produce a lot of bands uh, that have some kinship to our band. I, I, I hate the term pop punk, but you know, a lot of it tends to be fast stuff. People drink coffee and play distorted guitars and sing melodies over it, and it's fun. And I don't know, we've done we produced records for uh, Rise Against and uh, uh, Good Riddance and a Wilhelm Scream and Propagandi and uh, uh, of course our own band. And so in, in I think it was 2005 ish, uh, No Trigger came to the Blasting Room to record and um, so Mike shows up and he's telling us all about his drum company and everything and we recorded and and uh, not long after that, you know, he sent us some drums to, to use at the studio, you know, we used them on tons of bands and everything, and we just kind of, we kind of kept up a friendship over the years, and um, I think that really our friendship just kind of, uh, you know, turned into a, a whatever you, I don't know, is it called a business relationship? I, you know, it just, I just play drums, I don't know, they're good. And they got these mahogany ones now, Ugh. they're like, so, yeah. And the metal snare too has got, it's got like this, like, poof, poof, like a low end puff in it the way the snare sounds like on Milo Goes to Call. Like when you hear the like, poof, 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 it's got the, poof, 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 that, that puff of low end. This metal snare he built me has that little puff of low end because usually you kind of have to EQ that in sort of fake, but it's already got it in there, so it's cool. I think the reason I ended up playing the SJC drums is just because uh, it was the only comfortable choice for me at this point. It's not, it's not like I need to have an affiliation, but Mike and SJC, they made it to where uh, it was just too bitching, you know, not to do it. They, they just like, they, they take care of every little tiny thing that I need, you know, so it's, it's sort of like a, like a, a an ideal situation. <laughs> My favorite thing about playing drums, well, I, Carl and I were talking yesterday when we were driving down to the airport, and I guess when you play music, it it engages these parts of your brain that don't really get engaged doing other things, or at least they don't all engage at once. So it's kind of, it's, it can kind of just take you to to another place where you don't have to, all of a sudden, you know, the, the mortgage payment or something is, is not a, as big a deal because you're in this like other place in your brain. It's just, I've been doing it since I was four or five, you know, tapping on the pots and pans with the spatula and all that. It's like kind of just always been my, my therapy, you know. Again, I would get some kind of solid thing that, that could, that I know could support me and make me survive. Get that in the pocket and then be a musician so that the musician was just pure love and pure, pure art, and there wasn't the underlying thing of like trying to be successful, you know, trying to make money, trying to be famous, trying to get laid. Like, don't have, don't have that. Just only like, okay, so just music for music's sake, and have that be that. And then if your band gets famous, great. But if it doesn't, still great, because what you're doing in your garage, like all my best musical memories were in my you know, my basement or my garage with my buddies, like that, that's where all my best memories were. They're, it's personal, like it's, it's music, it's art, it's not, it's not a show business, you know, for me, it's not.